What's up guys, Rich Huberbash, and I'm out here for a very short uh, run. At this, it's pretty much the hottest time of the day. It's about 98 degrees and there's hardly any wind. I've got my, uh, my Arm Italian 6S that I just recently rebuilt. And I've also got my, uh, my Truggified Typhon there that's still in buggy form. I've got the uh, Trencher 2.8s on right here. Um, again, these are I had upgraded with the aluminum hexes. The only, the only thing is these are really, really firm, bouncy. Um, and they're just they're quite heavy so I'm hoping to actually switch over here to my old uh, my softer strapped uh, MX 28s it, I just hadn't been running these because one of my tires completely tore I snagged a nail and let me show you real quick so I snagged a, a nail a while back or something sharp and it just absolutely tore my entire tire so you can see that's a pretty sloppy repair job I'm just gonna see if this will work um, I went ahead and uh, I'm still just waiting for this glue to set up, but I used the uh, um, the Bob Smith Industries IS2000. Um, so we'll see uh, by some miracle this thing can hold together. People seem to think that the Italian Success, the V3 and V4, isn't really a, a hardcore basher. Um, I definitely disagree. Um, with the right upgrades, this thing is just an absolute tank. Um, again, I had uh, I'd been testing this chassis for a long time before it's released. This is the, the my original prototype M2C Racing Goliath Series Italian chassis. Um, so we had made a couple small tweaks to this, um, but this thing's still perfectly flat despite the skate park and a bunch of other abuse. So if any of you guys are on the fence about getting Italian for bashing, uh, definitely have no, uh, definitely don't hold back. I mean, the, it just handles different than the Creighton. It's got a different weight distribution, obviously because the electronics. Um, the motor and the center diff are moved back about an inch. Um, you've got your you know different placement with the servo, which is a, really offers a lot tighter steering, um, more responsive, um, and just the way the shocks, again with the way the towers and these uh, the short shocks, this thing's just a little beast. It's a complete speed freak, especially with the stock tires. Um, right now, I'm still got these uh, the uh, the boots backflip LPs, and guys, you know again these are the smaller ones. These come on the 4S rigs. Um, this this thing handles awesome with these on so All right, we got a problem <laughs> Well, this is a shout out to my uh, my good brother camo. What's up, bro? Uh, we were just talking about in his uh, last upload about how things uh, often go wrong when you go out to finally get rolling So what's going on is I barely got moving and this thing is just there's uh, It was doing fine in the street, but as soon as I bounced a couple times in the dirt um, basically, I'm losing power, um, so it seems like, uh, again, I'm almost positive what's going on is this connector snapped. I fixed this lower connector like three times, um, so maybe I'm just using a cheap brand, I'm not sure, but anyway, I do not have a butane solderer, uh, or solder gun, I'm sorry, to fix this right now, so it's going to have to be uh, type on time. All right, guys. Quick change of venue. Uh, I resoldered my my motor connector, and it turns out essentially, I think what happened is it. Uh, the wire wasn't splayed enough and so it just had poor contact and overheated and melted the solder and unfortunately this has happened a couple times. And I'm having a problem with my braking, guys.
right, guys. Well, that was a kind of a short run, but you know, there's a, a lot of people walking their horses around here, and in any case, I don't want to freak them out. So um, I'm gonna bail, but uh, hopefully, hopefully, you guys again, if that are on the fence about getting the Armitian 6S, uh, just realize, you know, even with the stock wheels, uh, just absolute speed beast. Um, throw a little bigger wheel on here, 3.8. Um, make a little tweaks. Do some uh, some general upgrades and mods like the M2C chassis. Um, and you're good to go. I mean, this thing's a serious basher. So, all right, guys. Till next time. Late. As I decided to give my uh, my truck a five, a little maybe hit or two off the ramp. So far, my glue job's holding up. Oh, dang! <laughs> that did a number on the bumper for sure. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right guys, well that's it. One of my uh one of my wrap jobs just snapped on the back. So, uh so I'm going to call this a day. Had a good bash. The Italian and the Truckified Typhon are complete beasts. Huge shout out to Arma as always.